Suppose alpha and beta are the roots of x squared plus eight x minus four equals zero. Find two divided by alpha plus two divided by beta. We will determine the value of this sum using Vieta's formula for quadratic equations, which states that if alpha and beta are the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta, equals negative b divided by a, and the product of the roots, alpha times beta, equals c divided by a. Notice for our given equation, a is equal to one, b is equal to eight, and c is equal to negative four. Which means alpha plus beta must equal, again, negative b divided by a is negative eight divided by one, which equals negative eight. So we know alpha plus beta is equal to negative eight. And alpha times beta is equal to c divided by a, which is negative four divided by one, and therefore alpha times beta is equal to negative four. One more thing I do want to point out, if we have a quadratic equation in this form here, where the leading coefficient is one, the sum s of the roots can be determined by taking the opposite of the coefficient of x. Notice how the opposite of the coefficient of x is negative eight, which does give us the sum. And the product of the roots p can be found by using the constant term in the equation. Notice how here the constant term is negative four, which does give us the product of the roots. But this only works when the leading coefficient is one. And now let's determine the value of two divided by alpha plus two divided by beta. To determine the value of the sum though, we will have to add these two fractions by first obtaining a common denominator. The least common denominator is the product of the two denominators, and therefore for the first fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator by beta. We multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by alpha. Notice now we do have a common denominator of alpha times beta. And notice how the numerator is two beta plus two alpha. Let's factor out the two from the numerator, which gives us two times the quantity beta plus alpha. But let's write that as alpha plus beta. And this is still over alpha times beta. Well, we know alpha plus beta is equal to negative eight, and alpha times beta is equal to negative four. So now we can evaluate this expression. We have two times alpha plus beta is negative eight, divided by alpha times beta, which is negative four. Simplifying, we have negative 16 divided by negative four, which is equal to positive four. And now we know the original sum, two divided by alpha plus two divided by beta is positive four. I hope you found this helpful.